So, when was the last time that you pulled a face? Come on, I want you all to join me. Turn to the person sitting next to you, look them deeply in the eye, and on the count of three, I want you to pull the silliest, craziest face that you can. Are you ready? I'm gonna do it too. I'm being streamed on the internet. So come on. One, two, three. <laughs> now those of you that did it, you found that quite good fun, didn't you? Yeah? Well, I'm here to tell you that just by pulling a face, you could actually save someone's life. To explain, I want you to imagine that you're out with a friend. You're having a lovely time when all of a sudden they collapse. <coughs> they're on the ground. You can see that they're unconscious. You can hear that their breathing isn't quite right. What are you going to do? How are you going to feel? What skills have you got to keep them safe until help arrives? You see, I work in an intensive care unit, and I've spoken to hundreds of families that have been in that exact situation. And I keep hearing the same words. I was scared. I felt helpless. I didn't know what to do. I was worried I was going to make things worse. Well, I've got to be honest with you. In that situation, there's not an awful lot you can do to make things any worse. The research tells us that most people struggle to do anything beyond calling an ambulance. And that means that the families that I speak to have to live with the fact that if they'd just been able to do something, then maybe, just maybe, things might have turned out differently. You see, thousands of people collapse every year. It happens for all sorts of reasons. Strokes, head injuries, overdoses, even really common things like diabetes. Now, when someone collapses, they can often struggle to breathe, and that's because the neck muscles relax, the tongue flops back, and it stops the air getting into the lungs. You may have heard that described as swallowing your tongue. Well, it's really dangerous, because as we've heard, just a few minutes without oxygen, and the heart stops, and you get brain damage. So the real tragedy of this situation is that the thing that caused the person to collapse in the first place may actually be fairly easy to treat in hospital. But by the time the ambulance gets there, it's often too late. Well, what I'm here to do is to tell you that you can all open up those airways just by pulling a face. That's right, just by pulling a face, you can actually save someone's life. Now, admittedly, you do have to pull the other person's face, not your own. <laughs> that would be too easy. <laughs> um, and you do have to pull this face. OK, so again, I want you to join me. I want you to actually do this. So turn to the person next to you, or if you're a bit shy, just practice on yourself. OK, just put one hand on the forehead and tilt the head back. Put the other hand just under the jaw and tilt the jaw up. And that's it. <laughs> and what it does is it pulls the tongue forward, relieving that blockage and allowing air to get into the lungs. And what I absolutely love about that technique is that anyone can do it. You don't need any strength. You don't need any super skills. A child can do it. The frail and the elderly can do it. And now, you can all do it. You can all do something that can literally be the difference between life and death. And if you can learn that in just a few minutes, can you just imagine what you could learn by going on a full life support course? And the best bit is, it's much, much easier than you think. I'll give you an example. CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's what we do when someone's collapsed, but they're just not breathing effectively enough. Well, you can think of that as just jumping on their chest. But instead of using your legs, you use your arms. And how fast do you go? Well, you go pretty fast. You go to the beat of Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. And no, I'm not going to sing it, OK? <laughs> Thanks. My point is that anyone can learn 
life support. And we know that it's effective. A bystander starting CPR doubles the chances of someone surviving a cardiac arrest. Now, I can understand there's going to be one or two people in here who are still not yet convinced. So I want to just try and think of this in a slightly different way. Um, everyone in here, I'm fairly certain at some point in their lives has wanted to have a superpower. Am I right? Yeah. Well, why do superheroes have superpowers? Isn't it to help people and save lives? Well, if that's the case, all of you now have superpowers because that maneuver saves lives. So why stop there? Why not go on a full life support course and learn more superpowers? And the great thing is that nowadays, there's so many online resources and videos and apps that you can learn everything you need to learn in the same way that you might watch a TED talk. And in fact, on your tables, you might find some DVDs that teach you the same thing. The other thing I want to stress on you is that this is information that you need to share. So take your kids, take your parents, take everyone you know, and go and learn this stuff. The reason? Well, who's going to look after you if you're the one that collapses? <laughs> now, I have to be honest with you. I have my own reasons for wanting you to learn this stuff. I'm sure you've all seen the stories on TV of the people that are too sick to make it, the people where they switch off the life support machines. Well, in real life, that's my job. I'm the guy that has to make that decision. I'm the guy that pulls the plug. And it's heartbreaking. It never, ever gets any easier. And having that conversation with those families, it's really hard. Because so often, I know that person could have survived if someone had just pulled a face, if someone had just done CPR, if someone had just spent a few minutes learning a superpower. I don't want the next family that I speak to to be yours. Because the truth is, all of us are going to be in that situation one day. All of us are going to have to call an ambulance. But the good news is, I know that someone in this room is going to remember to pull a face. Someone in this room is going to do CPR. Someone in this room is going to become a lifesaver. Why don't you make sure that someone is you?